Okay, answers to the questions, adding and removing reactants and products. What's going to happen in this case? Well, we've got our reaction system. If we add water vapour, note that we're adding liquid water. So in this case, it's water vapour, it's a gas phase reaction. Water will have an effect. So if we add water vapour, we're adding a product. The reaction is going to move back to the left to oppose that change. What happens if we add oxygen gas? We're adding a reactant, therefore the reaction will go to the right to oppose that change. It goes to the right to remove some of the added oxygen. We add sodium hydroxide, what effect is that going to have? Well, sodium hydroxide is not in this equation. However, what do we see? Hydrochloric acid. What happens when we add a base to an acid? It's going to react with the acid. We're going to get a sharp drop in HCl. So we will remove a reactant. The reaction is going to move to the left. Question two. Why does adding HCl send the reaction to the right? Well, we're adding a reactant, there will be more collisions between the reactant molecules. Right? An increased frequency of collisions. This increases the rate of the forward reaction. And initially, the frequency of collisions between products is unchanged, therefore, the reaction goes to the right. 